welcome to my channel. My name is Sylvia and my channel is all about art and craft. Now today I'm going to have five tips for all you cup making enthusiasts. Because what do we generally do? We continuously buy stuff and then we end up not using it. But there's going to be a lot more um, tips than just that side of things. So let's get straight into it. Now tip number one. A lot of us purchase cart making magazines and even you know buying specialty papers you know whether it's for scrapbooking whatever. Now there's one issue with that. One it piles up Two, once we run out of a particular pattern, that's it. So, here's a great tip for you. Scan them into your computer. Because that way, if you ever want to reuse it, <coughs> excuse me, all you need to do is print it out. Which now brings me to tip number two. Now, you're going to spin out a little bit. As I just pointed out, you know, we'll print things out. Well, your ink cartridge for your printer, if you've got one like I do, which is an Epson printer, <coughs> excuse me, um, the ink cartridges are quite pricey. You do, and this is what I've done, is go on to eBay. Now, I'm going to show you some images and um, I'll talk you through them while um, you see them on the screen. Um, these one, this particular person that I buy from is for Australia only. So if you're in the US or the UK or anywhere else in the world, um, do a search on eBay for your ink cartridge <clears throat> because you might find somebody in your area or reasonably close to you that you can buy from and save a ton of money. Okay, now as you can see up on the screen, um, with this particular person, I paid $31 for 20 ink cartridges. Now, generally, if I buy it in a pack, um, there's five ink cartridges in it because you've got your black, your yellow, your cyan, and your magenta. Right, so you've got your four colors. And that's it. And um, I'll show you um, on the screen now as well um, all the other ink cartridges, like other brands of printers that they also have. Um, you can see the Brother, the HP, Canon. So, you know, you probably will find ink cartridges for your particular printer. Now here's a kicker for you guys, okay? As I just pointed out, I can go to our local um, office supply place, big place, um, which is Officeworks here in Australia. Now I'll put it up on the screen how much it costs me to buy a set of ink cartridges for my particular printer. It's $177, right? So if I times that by five, it works out, if I was to purchase it through Officeworks, it would cost me $885. I purchased through eBay, and it cost me $31 and I have free postage. That is a saving of $854. Give
guess what? I don't mind printing stuff out anymore. Before, I didn't want to do it because of the cost of the ink. Now that I can get my ink, and by the way, there's nothing wrong with the ink, works perfectly fine. So, definitely check it out. Now, tip number three. When you scan it onto your computer, have a filing system in there. And I'll show you up the top again. And what I've done is I've created a folder which is called um, printable paper. And within that folder, I created more folders. And I've divided it so that, you know, you've got kids, you've got flowers, you've got dad themes, marbles, dotted, you name it, it's there. Okay. So what I was, what I did was when I was scanning through, like scanning everything onto the computer, I then put them all into the right folder. So that way, what can I do? If I want to look for something in particular, I can just click on the folder and there it is. Now, nicely organized. I've got unlimited prints available to me because I can print them out myself. And I'll probably end up using them all. So, now, tip number four. When it comes to paper, check out your local office supply. Because you will find that they have different GSM um, papers, which will be perfect for card making. And <clears throat> here in Australia, we've got one um, particular brand that is digital paper, which can be used on a laser printer or on a jet printer. So, you beauty. The highest GSM I've found is 250 GSM which is basically your card stock, if I'm not mistaken. Something I'm still going to check out, um, but the one thing I do know, I do want to buy all the different GSM papers that are available that are higher than 80 GSM. So, and, you know, here's the other kicker. You know, 250 GSM, you print something like this on there, you can have front and back of your card with that particular print on it, if that's what you choose to do. You know, it gives you more options. Definitely gives you more options. So, there you have it. Now, going back to the filing system, okay, something I actually kind of skipped by accident. So I'll go back to um, tip number three for, the, for a second. We've spoken about a filing system on the computer. Now, what about a filing system for your actual prints? Now, this is only temporarily all right. However, it's going to have the same sort of scenario where, again, I've got little labels. I've got one for animals, confetti, diamonds, Easter, checkered, you name it, it's there. Okay. Which now means, and I'm going to put these two back to where they should be. 
okay? These ones are put under animals because, you know, it's bees and dragonfly. It's an animal, so it goes under animals. And I've got it in sheep protectors. So you can just slip it in there and it's filed away under the right category. Now, these dividers, they weren't long enough so it would stick out properly. So I just, um, I didn't use cardstock. These little beauties here. Now, if you're a tea drinker, you probably buy those big boxes of tea bags. I think there's about 100 tea bags in them. And they've got little dividers in there. You can use those. Or you can even use a thin bit of cardboard. You know, whatever you've got lying around. Recycle whatever you've got. And all I did was cut it down, put it on here, then use one of these label stickers, stuck it at the front, and I stuck one on the back as well to make sure it stays there. Now, I will be purchasing some... Um, ring binder folders so that I can put them in there and I'll probably decorate the folder as well because hey that's what us crafters and arty farty people do you know we love decorating everything so why would it be any different but by you putting them into a ring folder it's going to be a lot easier than this because here I'm sort of a little bit limited where with the ring folder I can really move it over to one side nothing's going to fall back or anything like that so but yeah it's a great way to keep it organized and yeah if you sort of have something in mind you know maybe you want to do want to use marble while well, you go to your marble you pull the stack out and you choose the one that you want and then you slide them back in well organized now the other one that um, I like to organize very soon is all my sentiments now I'm actually kicking myself right because I wish I had have thought about this way beforehand because um, scanning these on the computer, you beauty. But what about your pop out ones? Now, while they're on the sheet, scan them. That way you can actually print them out, cut them out, and you've got them. Yeah, okay, you know going to be able to just pop them out but you still end up with the images and this is going to be another one where I'm going to create a filing system because of this do you really think I'm using it nah, no chance in hell why because it's too hard to find anything in there it's just a complete mess so that this will probably be another video uh, once I've come up with a brilliant idea on how I'm going to do this. So, again, I'm just going to put these ones into here for the minute. And we'll put them away. Now, sometimes you also get these gorgeous card stocks. Now, I actually kind of like these. There's just one problem. You only get one off, each of them. And they actually, this particular one actually comes with stamps as well. And I'll show you the stamps in a minute. So, again, scan them. You can then print it straight onto your cardstock. Now, if you don't know how to print on your cardstock, let me know. And I'm more than happy to do a video on that. 
okay? But I'll show you the stamps. Hang on, that won't take me long. And here they are. Oop, there we go. Okay? So I've got all these stamps to go with this. Well, I can reuse the stamps over and over and over and over. I've got an issue here. These ones, I can only use once. So, there you go. So, that is another one. Now, speaking of this particular one. Now, what have I done? Oh, there. Speaking of this... sort of been trying to decide how I was going to create a card with this but I haven't come up with anything so I tell you what leave a comment down below of what you think I should do with these card stocks now the best idea I will end up using in a video and be sure to let me know in your comment whether it's okay for me to mention you if um, you know yours is one of the best ideas or not because I might actually mention you in the video but the only way I'll do that is if you give me the permission because hey I love you guys all right and I sure as hell wouldn't want to upset you guys at all. Not once. Not one little bit. So, be sure to do that for me. It'll really help me out. Because, yes, I'm stuck on it. Now, tip number five. We all have scraps. Whether it's our beautiful paper or whether it's our cardstock. Now, again, look at this. What a mess, right? I'm going to end up doing the same thing with this, with all these scraps, including the cardstock, as I have done for the papers in a folder only thing I haven't decided yet is will I have them all in the one folder as in you know the scrap bits of the papers in with the papers but on towards the back of the folder or will I create a separate folder for it because at the end of the day this is how I see it right I've got shelves yes i need to reorganize them because um slowly but surely my supplies are getting bigger and bigger so it's sort of like okay well i'm going to need to uh, reorganize my shelves and i'll probably end up having room to put my folders so, all I need to do is just grab the folder and then grab what I want and put the folder back where it belongs. I reckon that's pretty nifty. It'll, quite frankly, I, I believe it takes up a lot less room. It makes it a lot tidier and it makes you want to be more creative. So there you have it. There's your um, five tips for today. If you've got any questions and you want to know certain things, feel free to leave a comment down below. Now, be sure to give us a thumbs up because that'll really, really help me because um, that'll let YouTube know that they should put my videos out a bit more so that um, you know more people get to see it and that would be so awesome and um, 
The other thing is, if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified for any new videos that are coming up. And there will be plenty more coming. So I'm not going away. I'm going to be here for the long haul. If you want to follow me along and see me grow the channel and you'd like to support me in whichever way you'd like to, feel free to do so. I really, really will appreciate it because at the end of the day, I'm doing all these videos for you guys. I love doing art and craft and I love to share it with you. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend and an awesome week and I will catch you guys next week. Bye for now.